I think the 10th anniversary is the appropriate occasion to sum up all the research that's been done over 10 years, which suggests that the story we've been given about 9-11 is not true. We wanted an investigation into all of the actions and failures that had led to the deaths of our loved ones and so many others on that horrible September day. A real investigation into 9-11 has never been done. Why didn't the commission deal with the collapse of Building 7, which some call the smoking gun? At 5.20 in the afternoon on 9-11, it fell vertically and symmetrically in six and a half seconds. NIST acknowledges WT-7 came down without resistance and without doing any work for over 100 feet. They even gave the equation of the line. It shows that the slope is exactly equal to the acceleration of gravity. The fact of freefall is literally proof of demolition. Boom, 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 boom. It's like 20 straight hits. We just heard one more explosion. That's about the fourth one we've heard. High-rise office buildings do not collapse due to fires. All three skyscrapers were destroyed by explosive controlled demolition. But take a close look now at the corner where you see developing a series of explosions rapidly advancing down the corner of the building much faster than the rest of these explosions, almost as fast as the free-falling objects. We have found what we call nanothermite. The thermite reaction was present and occurring at the World Trade Center on 9-11 and afterward in the pile at the World Trade Center site. Thermite must have been there one way or the other. The FBI's official 9-11 investigation code name is Pentagon. It's the official story, of course, in the 9-11 Commission report and all the media that follows their lead is that bombs really weren't involved at the World Trade Centers or the Pentagon. Americans know you can keep secrets. We kept the Manhattan Project secret. That had 100,000 people working on it. Conspiracies happen. We know that. Iran-Contra, Watergate. Conspiracy is a sound legal concept. We use it all the time. 9-11 has unleashed a roadmap of war and destruction. A war machine that has been building incrementally since Eisenhower warned us about it in 1961. Anybody who looks at it will realize that uh, we're not walking in there with, with tinfoil hats. Uh, we are just normal people. We are ordinary citizens who are concerned and trying to do something about it. This isn't over. This is just beginning. This is just beginning.